Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today you will see what I eat in a day. I thought it will be very helpful for a lot of people because we all get tired from same recipe, same food every day and I'll show you some different ideas for breakfast, lunch and dinner and of course snacks. When it comes to healthy eating, you want to focus on eating enough protein, uh, vegetables, fruit. I've been eating healthy for a lot of years. So for me, it's pretty simple to prepare uh, healthy, uh, good food, but I'll show you only one day. So in future, of course, I will try to make more videos like that to show you different uh, recipes for dinner how I prepare my uh, sweet potato rice buckwheat and other stuff I will not show you in this video but anyway let's get started and please don't forget to subscribe guys good morning and now it's time to make our coffee I'm going to start my machine I do have a couple different types of coffee I use ground coffee uh, sometimes it's Dunkin Donuts it's depend Anyway, I like this one a little bit better. It's uh, have more flavor. And of course, don't forget to drink some water. My coffee is ready and look, I didn't even add creamer yet, but look at this beautiful foam. Uh, this machine always makes pretty coffee, but I'll add a little bit of creamer. Uh, if you stay away from dairy, I will show you a great so creamer. I'm using this uh, creamer forever. It's dairy free called Nut Pods. I got it at Publix. This is a great creamer, uh, dairy free, and it only have uh, 10 calories, but it does taste good. It doesn't taste like water or like uh, almond milk. It tastes so much better. I've been using this for a year, uh, but slowly I'm starting getting tired of it sometimes. So I'm using just a regular organic half and half. And I'm just going to pour a little bit. I don't use any sugar because this fresh coffee tastes amazing, but if you do, you can always use a little bit of brown sugar. Breakfast, I want to show you something different. Um, I usually have avocado toast or oatmeal, but today I decided to have English muffin with this uh, dark chocolate creamy almond butter. I do have regular almond butter, but it doesn't taste as good as this one. So I find it um, at Target and it's actually healthy because it has six grams of uh, protein and only five grams of sugar. Uh, 190 color per serving, you know, color is high, but it's breakfast time, so it's totally fine. Or when you're craving sweets, you should totally have a uh, toast with that. Uh, it's much better than have, you know, different types of spreads. I'm just gonna put my English muffin in a toaster. I have a regular one, original and light one. Here's 100 calories, multigrain. My toast is ready and I will add some strawberries and pineapple or maybe you have some blueberries it will be really good so just add some fruits to make uh, our breakfast complete so here's my delicious and healthy breakfast and after that I'm going to the gym so now let's talk about snacks of course uh, between breakfast and lunch and dinner you will feel hungry and you want to have a snack the best one going to be hard-boiled egg I always prepare them ahead of time and one egg and a go will be a great uh, snack and I also got here some hummus you can have it with a carrot or celery um, this is my favorite snack. This is a cottage cheese. It's 19 grams of protein and only 2% milk fat. And uh, after workout, if you don't have time to have lunch, you can have a protein shake. This one is my favorite because it doesn't clog my pores. So my skin looks uh, good with that. Uh, if I use regular protein, I have breakouts. So this is my favorite uh, type of snacks. Of course, fruit or vegetable will be a great snack. I will show you that in a minute. And now I'm going to the gym. Hey guys, it is lunchtime now and I just went to the gym and then I uh, went to the store. I will make avocado toast for lunch, but I thought I'll show you what I bought from the store. So uh, for my bread, I decided to buy uh, fresh baked bread. Pretty cool. You can see oats on it. So I'm excited to try this bread. And I also got this thin bread. I usually put it in the fridge. You can make sandwiches or use it for uh, breakfast toast. It has flax and fiber. I got some salad for tonight. I'm out of jam. I just like to have it in case I'm craving sweets. So for tonight, I'm gonna make delicious chicken. So I got soy sauce, a low sodium, uh, sesame oil, and I got this uh, hyson sauce. I hope I'm saying it right. I never tried this recipe before, but it will be so good, I'm sure. So tonight I'll show you a new chicken recipe. And I got uh, cottage cheese. This one is really good. So we got 19 grams of protein. It doesn't have any flavor, but to me it tastes really good. 
uh, two percent milk and i got uh, almonds i added every morning to my oatmeal i like uh, this type and then i got coffee because i'm out and i got my favorite cherry tomatoes for my breakfast actually i will add it right now for my toast and i got avocado and lime because we will need lime juice for tonight okay anyway uh, let's do our uh, avocado toast okay so for avocado toast i'm going to cut this piece of bread in a half and put it in a toaster for a couple minutes and now i'm going to fry one egg i covered it and while our uh, toast in a toaster and egg on a pan we're going to cut our avocado so i will only use today half of avocado sometimes i use full one but today i'm not super hungry so i'm going to save this half for tomorrow i put it in the fridge and what i do i use spoon just to take everything out like that I also got cherry tomatoes and while I'm waiting for everything I will just cut it in a half. Okay our egg is ready and I'll put toast on my plate. My toast is pretty uh, dark because I like it crispy. Put it on the side. So for my avocado I'm just gonna slice it and and I will put a couple pieces here and some over here. Super easy. Now I'm going to use salt and pepper. I have this amazing electronic uh, salt and pepper. And then pepper. And what will make your avocado toast delicious is uh, the seasoning. It's called everything seasoning. It is so good. I even put in my egg. And I do like uh, some extra garlic. So I just put a little bit of garlic. You can actually have a fork and spread it all over your toast. I like slices just like that. And then I will add my tomatoes. So my lunch is ready, avocado toast with egg. You can always do scrambled eggs and put it on top of your avocado toast, whatever you like. And instead of tomatoes, you can have a little salad on the side. And I want to show you this juice. I found it a couple weeks ago. It says that this juice have only one ingredient, uh, oranges, that's it. So I start buying it because it seems pretty good. Uh, I'll have a little glass of it with my avocado toast. And with my lunch, I'll take my supplements, uh, multivitamin and flaxseed oil. I'm using uh, Garden of Life women's once a day and this flexit oil i showed you a lot of times for my snack before uh, dinner i will have one orange or you can have apple for example actually i have here some apples too but i think i'll have orange okay, guys, it's time for dinner and today i want to make this chicken honey hoisin chicken breast uh, i do have this grill machine but i don't think you really have to have it to make this recipe you can always fry it on your pan but anyway i'm gonna make salad and this delicious chicken look how great it's look well, i prepare everything i went to the store and i got this sauce and sesame oil everything else i had so here's my honey here's my seeds uh lime i will use fresh lime uh, soy sauce i bought more but i just want to use whatever i have left i did prepared measurements uh, this is a sauce and this is honey and i also got garlic so anyway, first we're going to mix everything pretty much. Let's start with our sauce. I'll just pour it in here. And then honey going next. One and a fourth cup. So honey sauce. Now we need uh, two tablespoons of lime juice. I'm just gonna squeeze it. Um, not sure how I'm gonna measure it, but I'll just squeeze one half. And I think it will be enough. And now we have two tablespoons of soy sauce. I have low sodium one. So here's one. And here's second. Okay, uh, sesame oil. Add one tablespoon of it. So here we go. And last, going to be garlic. I'm just going to mix everything together. It says I have to place chicken in a Ziploc bag and pour a mixture inside. 
and we're gonna marinate it for 30 minutes in a room temperature or you can put it in a fridge for 24 hours. Okay, so for my salad, I got here a cherry tomato and cucumber. I cut it just like that. And I'll add some spinach and I'll add um, green mix. And then I will add some chia seeds to get some fiber and protein in. Just a little bit. Now we're gonna make dressing. We're going to need uh, white wine vinegar. And instead of olive oil, I will use avocado oil. I just like it better. But if you don't have any, you can just use uh, olive oil. And then I'm going to add some balsamic vinegar. So a little bit of olive oil and then vinegar. Just a little bit because we do have balsamic vinegar. I don't want to make it too sour. And now I'm going to mix everything together. My simple salad is ready. It does look so good. Uh, you can always add some walnuts or almonds. It will be a good idea. And now let's make our chicken. First, I'm going to start my grill and I will choose a uh, chicken. Look how much things you can make. Hot sandwiches in the morning, fish, uh, chicken, bacon, pork, steak. Okay, we're gonna press chicken and we're gonna press okay. And we're just gonna wait till it beeps. Now uh, color is blue and once it's medium or well done, you can remove the chicken and shut off your machine. Okay, so it's yellow. I will wait just a little bit till medium and I will remove chicken. Uh, you don't really have to stare at that because it makes noise every time it's changed color. So you can do your stuff in the kitchen. As chicken is ready, it's very moistured and smells amazing. And I sprinkle some sesame seeds on the end. Some chopped green onion. Here's a final look. 